What is up and welcome back, it's Kovos bringing you another Escape from Tarkov video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the healing items of Tarkov and which ones do what. So the very first items we're going to go over in this video are the ones you're most likely to see in early game. And that's going to be the AI2 medkit, the Anglin painkillers, the bandage, army bandage, and the immobilizing splint. So the first item on this list is going to be the AI2 medkit, and this is often referred to as cheese by streamers and gamers alike, because it does look like a slice or a stack of craft singles. Now, something I want to point out about all of these items before we go into detail on each one specifically, is they all have a use time and they all have an HP resource. If they don't, that means it's a one-time use. So for example, this bandage here does not have any numbers on the bottom right hand side of it, which means it is a one time use. But these have four out of four, which means it has four uses out of a maximum of four left. And this has 25 out of 300, meaning it only has 25 capacity left out of the maximum 300 that it starts with. So keep that in mind when purchasing, selling, or bringing any items in or out of raids. So the last thing to touch base on before we jump into each and every item in detail is going to be the use time of the item specifically. So for example, the AI2 medkit takes a few seconds to pull out, takes two seconds to use once the item is out, and then takes a few seconds to put back away. So the time you can shoot from the time you use this to the time you can shoot again is going to be between 6 and 7 seconds. So as far as the AI2 medkit goes specifically, it has a maximum HP resource of 100, meaning it can heal up to 100 health before it is consumed entirely. Now this item also removes radiation exposure, but as far as radiation and toxication goes, they are not currently implemented into Escape from Tarkov, so we will be disregarding those across all of these items. Now for the AI2 medkit, it can actually only heal up to 50 HP per use. So if your right leg or left leg, for example, went down to 5 HP, it's missing 60 HP. Using it once would add 50 HP back onto that limb. You would have to use it a second time in order to heal that limb back to full. So as far as any healing item in Escape from Tarkov goes, it will automatically select the most damaged portion of your body and apply its heal to that section. If it's an item that stops bleeding, it will automatically select the limb or portion that's bleeding and stop it. So the next item on the list is the most readily available painkillers in Escape from Tarkov. The use time on this item is 3 seconds. It gives you minus 7 to hydration, so will make you thirsty rather quickly. It removes pain for 170 seconds per use, and has a maximum of 4 uses even though there's clearly 10 capsules. So if you're a newer player to Escape from Tarkov, you're probably wondering what the effect removes pain does. So for 170 seconds after popping this pill, you will now have increased sharpness of what you see visually in game, and that will be an indicator to let you know that the effect is taking place. And what this does, it basically cancels out any negative effects of a fracture or broken limb. So instead of limping around and making a bunch of noise and pain, it will be as if it never happened until the painkiller wears out. Just keep in mind this does drain your hydration really fast, so make sure you stay hydrated, find some juice or water, and get out of that raid. So the next two items on our list is the aseptic bandage and the army bandage, and both of these items do the same thing with the exception that the army bandage has a maximum of two uses. When using one of these items, it will stop blood loss. Anytime you take damage and escape from Tarkov, you have a chance to bleed. If you start bleeding, that body part will completely bleed out if left unattended. Using one of these items will completely prevent that. So both of these items are immobilizing splints, and what they do is they remove fractures. So anytime you take damage to a limb in Escape from Tarkov, that limb has a chance to break or fracture. If it's fractured, you can use one of these splints to negate all negative effects and cure the fracture. Now the one on the left has a one-time use and a use time of 5 seconds. The one on the right is going to be a little more costly, but has a faster use time of 3 seconds and a maximum uses of up to 5 times. So next on the list we have the car first aid kit. It has a use time of 3 seconds, a maximum HP resource of 220 and can also stop blood loss at the cost of 40 resource. This item can heal a maximum of 70 HP per use. Now if your limb or portion of your body is bleeding, it will take 40 away from the healing to stop the blood loss, leaving you with 30 health points left over. So next 
first aid kit on the list is going to be the Salua, and the Salua has a use time of 3 seconds, a maximum HP resource of 400, and stops blood loss at the cost of 30 of that HP resource. This item can also heal up to 85 HP in a single use, so overall in every way is better than the car first aid kit, at least until radiation and intoxication are added into the game. So next on the list is the IFAC Personal Tactical First Aid Kit. It has a use time of 3 seconds matching the car and the Salua with a maximum HP resource of 300 HP, putting it in between those other two first aid kits. It also stops blood loss at the cost of 30 HP, making it slightly better than the car and the same as the Salua. But this item can only heal 50 HP per use, making it by far worse than the other two. But this item only takes up one slot, so it's a great addition to your secure container. And the last first aid kit is a monster. It is the Grizzly First Aid Kit. It does take up four slots, but has a maximum HP resource of 1,800. Its use time is five seconds. It can stop the blood loss at the cost of 30 HP, removes fractures at the cost of 50 HP resource, and removes contusions as well. It can also remove toxication and radiation once those will be added to the game. So the coolest thing about the Grizzly First Aid Kit, as long as you have the HP resource available, can heal any portion of your body all the way full even if it's bleeding and fractured, with a use time of only 5 seconds that is fairly quick for the trade off you're getting out of this. It can also remove contusions, which is the effect after getting shot in the helmet which distorts your vision. So we already went over the base painkillers, now we also have ibuprofen painkillers and the augmented antibiotic pills which also give you the remove pain effect. They both have a use time of 5 seconds, and the ibuprofen painkillers on the left has up to 12 uses, removes contusion, and the duration for removes pain is up to 500 seconds. It also gives you minus 5 on hydration, so the ibuprofen painkillers will make you thirsty. The augmented antibiotic pills only has one use and only removes pain for 200 seconds. So next up we have two rather unique items. They both only take up one slot and have a maximum uses of up to 10 times. So the one on the left is Vaseline. It has a 6 second use time, removes pain for 500 seconds, and gives you minus 2 to energy and hydration. The one on the right is Golden Star Bomb, has a use time of 7 seconds, so is 1 second longer than Vaseline. It gives you plus 4 to energy, it removes pain, toxication, and radiation for 600 seconds, it will remove a contusion, and has energy and hydration recovery of 5 seconds. So these will be the last two items we go over before getting into the injectors and syringes. So on the left we have the Serve 12 Field Surgical Kit and on the right is the CMS Kit. And what these items allow you to do is to restore a blacked out limb to 1 HP and is the only way to bring these limbs back to life. So the differences between the two are going to be the use times and the maximum HP that they can be restored to. So the field surgical kit on the left is going to restore a limb with the maximum HP of 80 to 90%. The CMS kit on the right will only restore the limb with a maximum HP of 45 to 60% of its maximum HP. So they both bring them back to 1 HP, reducing the maximum HP that they can he be healed back to. So next we're going to go over all 7 injectors currently in Escape from Tarkov. And all of the use times on these are 2 seconds, you basically pull them out, stab yourself with it, and you're done. So the first one on our list is going to be the Combat Stimulant Injector, which is the blue one. So the use time again is 2 seconds, it's very quick. The maximum stamina it gives you is plus 50 for 240 seconds. It gives you stamina recovery of 2.5 for 240 seconds as well. It causes your hands to tremor for 1 minute after a delay of 200 seconds. You also get tunnel vision for 30 seconds after a delay of 240 seconds. So next on our list is the green one, the Regenerative Stimulant Injector. This removes contusions and increases your skills, metabolism, and immunity by 20 for 90 seconds. It also increases health regeneration by 6.5 for 30 seconds and energy recovery by 1 for 30 seconds as well. After 35 seconds has elapsed, you will lose 4 to your energy recovery for 20 seconds and you will lose 10 levels to your skills, endurance, and health for 60 seconds. So next we have the yellow one Propital. This removes pain, contusion, and toxication for 240 seconds. It also increases your skills metabolism, health, and vitality by 20 levels for 300 seconds and will increase health regeneration by 1 for 300 seconds. 
Your hands will tremor and you will have a tunnel effect after 270 seconds. The hands tremoring will last for 300 seconds and the tunnel effect will last for 60 seconds. After a delay of 290 seconds, you will also experience pain for 120 seconds as well. Next up, we have the purple one, the hemostatic drug. So it stops blood loss for 180 seconds, increases your skill vitality by 20 for 180 seconds, prevents new bleeds for 180 seconds, your hands will tremor after a delay of 70 seconds for 120 seconds, it will decrease your hydration recovery after a delay of 170 seconds by 1.4 for 50 seconds, it will also lower your skill metabolism by 10 for 180 seconds. Now we have the Combat Stimulant Injector or SJ1. This increases your skills endurance, strength, and stress resistance by 25 for 180 seconds. It also costs you energy recovery and hydration recovery after a 20 second delay by 0.25 and 0.3 for 200 seconds. So we have the Solid Blue one or the Morphine Injector, which is a single use painkiller that removes pain for 380 seconds. It gives you plus 10 to energy and minus 10 to hydration as well as removing the contusion effect. And last but not least, we have the Solid Red one, the Adrenaline Injector. This removes pain and contusion for 60 seconds. It increases your endurance and strength skills by 20 levels for 60 seconds. It increases your recoil control skill by 15 levels for 60 seconds. It increases your health regeneration by 4 for 15 seconds. It reduces your energy recovery and hydration recovery for 30 seconds after a 50 second delay. And decreases your skill stress resistance by 10 levels for 60 seconds. So that's going to wrap it up for details on all of the healing items and injectors in Escape from Tarkov. If I missed anything or any details about any of these items, let me know down in the comment section below. And if this video helped you out and you want to see more quality content like this, clicking that subscribe button goes a really long way and helps me out a lot more than you may realize. If you enjoy this video specifically, clicking that thumbs up button is awesome. If you did not enjoy it, you're more than welcome to click the thumbs down. Either way, if you did click or didn't click any of the things that I suggested, I still hope you have a good evening, afternoon, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are, but thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos.